The Igala people are seen to portray their rich and colorful tradition through their cuisine. Once again, I'm at the Igala kitchen and I have with me Chef Shaibu Utenwajo Helen. I'm back again. Welcome, man. Good to have you here. Thank you so much. Let's quickly take a look at Chef Helen's profile for the benefit of those who didn't see her previous episodes on Bon Appetit, a culinary adventure. Stay tuned. this time around you okay. will be preparing for my viewers yes so we'll be preparing a uh, igbala agugu today and tell the, us a bit about igbala okay agugu. the igbala agugu one of the recipe we have is pigeon pea in english in english but the igala name is agugu and the botanical name is kajanos kaja hmm. <laughs> it's so proteinous. it's proteinous. it's grown in igala land and it's synonymous, if you ask me, with the Asians. I know the Indians okay. eat it. Okay. They use it a lot to prefer to prepare really nice cuisine. Okay. Yes. So it's really heartwarming to know that it's cultivated on Igala. In Igala land. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes. yes. Okay. So take us through the ingredients we'll be requiring to okay. prepare Igbala. What did you say? Igbala gugu. Igbala gugu. And you're going to be serving it with. Serving it with um, um, peppered chicken. Oh, beautiful. Whoa, that's tweaking it a little bit differently, yes. right? Yes. Let's see the ingredients. Okay. The main ingredient here is the pigeon pea. Agugu. This is it. Then we have our palm oil. It's from Igala land, too. Hmm. Then we have our onion. We have our scotch pepper. Scotch bonnet. We have uh, seasoning, then we have salt, we have vegetable oil. What are you going to be using? Then? I will use it for the chicken. For to the make the sauce? To make the sauce. Okay. And this is gari. This is from cassava. Hmm. I can't wait to see how you're going to do it, Chef. Okay, you'll see it. And it's very, very simple to prepare. Thanks for staying with us, my esteemed viewer. We'll be right back after this time. I'll boil some water. While I wash the pigeon pin, I've already picked the stone from it. Okay. Okay. Those are this, bad? Yes, they are bad. Hmm. So you what have to floating. pack them, yes, pack them from the surface of the water. Then you have to gently, you have to turn it so that if there is any stone, it can go under. Mm. This takes some expertise. Yes. <laughs> if not, you will not enjoy it because of stone. Well done. Thank you, ma. Okay. 
you know, one or two pieces of stone or sand in your food could actually make something you took your time to, to prepare. Cook. Yeah, to be unpalatable. Yes. So you still need to wash it second time. See some bad ones still float. Yeah. Does it cook fast? No. No. It doesn't. So you if you have a pressure pot, you can use. Okay. Yes. And the way it's been prepared in the village, you know in the village they use firewood to cook it. Mm. Or if you have a charcoal pot, you can use it. Averagely, how long does it take to prepare? One hour. Whoa. At seven? Yes, ma'am. That's a good <clears throat> This cannot awesome. be put on an a la carte. No, menu. no, no, no. Because <laughs> guests will be waiting and waiting and waiting. Except if you pre cook it. Yes. Mm. So, I'm adding it to the water, mm. the boiling water. Hold on, Let me cover it. And allow it. To... Now I want to check if the water is dried. And if it's cooked and if it's soft. cooked soft. Yeah. Okay. It's soft. How do you know? So for, for the, the benefit of my viewer, yes. can you please prove? That okay. It's cooked soft. You can see it. Whoa. So it's soft now. Done. Thank you. At least we've convinced <laughs> <laughs> my viewer so, that it's truly so. This is the gari hmm. that we want to use it for the igbala. Is there an alternative for this? Yes, you can use corn flour hmm. and you can use cassava flour. But today I'm using gari to do it. Okay. So you add pinch you, of you salt. You get the same end the result. Same, yes, the same end result. Hmm. You add pinch of salt to it. You miss. Please help me with water. Sure. Okay. How much of it? Just small. You sprinkle some water. Should I use this? Yes. Even if it is cassava flour or corn flour, you still do it this way. You add some water to it. Just like mixing a goosey. Yes. With a bit of water. Yes. So the next thing to do is to pour it at the center of the pigeon pea that is already cooked on fire. Why center? So that it will not scatter because I will still have to pack it out and let it cool before I add the pepper sauce to wow. it and mix it. What a procedure. <sighs> Conscious effort. Yes. I think this is enough. Okay. Add the blended pepper for the sauce. And some people don't like their pepper to be smooth as this. 
So if you want your own to be like a chopped pepper, mm. you can... Like gravy? Yes. Mm. Seasoning. It's okay. Oh, correct. Now this will fry for how long? No, just three minutes. I will remove it now from fire. Yes. Okay. But I want to do okay, the we'll missing. Switch the yes. Where do you want me to keep this? And um, keep the chicken here. Okay. Lift where you have to. Lift. Okay. Space management. Okay. Put it here. Okay. Then we remove the. But should I on the lighter? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sh okay, soup. for the chicken to boil. To heat up a bit. Yes. So I will need this to turn. Can I help you? Yes, ma'am. What do you want me to do? Okay, you'll be adding it small, small. Okay, while you mix. While I mix, yes. Can I go? Yes. Add. Add. Add, add. It's okay, it's okay. I didn't pack the gari well. That is why you are seeing the gari well, looks nice. Yes. I think another thing that can be used for this recipe is couscous. <laughs> Right? Yes, you can use it. But traditionally, is a corn flour, <laughs> cassava flour, or gari. Yeah. So, yes. Can I have the gari? Okay. You know, some people can eat it like this, but some need more of gari. Mm. That is why I'm mixing this one. Feeling you. Yes. So I want to mix it here first so that the oil, the sauce can enter before I pour it inside this one and mix it up again. Okay, add for me small. Okay. It's okay. Okay, awesome. I If I were to choose mm. between this and that, yes. I'll go for that. Okay. More of the protein than the yes. carbohydrates. Yes. Yes. So let me just mix it. Mix a bit. I will not mix everything because some people will not like it if if the gari is too much. Yes, you okay. add small sauce. I think it can take off. Okay. What do you think? Let's let's try it. <laughs> Are we now doing trial and error? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this side. I need more sauce. Okay. 
Okay, just a little. Okay, thank you. Come on. That's why I'm here. Okay? It's ready. Wow. I can't wait. <laughs> it tastes nice. I always love to try <laughs> what I've not tasted. Yes, it's good. I'm always eager. <laughs> Well done. Thank you. Well done. Hmm. Okay, let me cover it now since. Uh, okay. To keep it warm. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what's next? The next thing is to fry our chicken. So let me quickly remove it. Let me pass this. Okay, thing. thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No, I don't want it dry. Since I'm going to use it, use it as a sauce. I don't want it to be too dry. Now the sauce is ready. I want to add the chicken. You're not going to add the stock a bit? I think it can, it can come before or after, right? Before or after? Anyone? Let me add stock to it.
Chicken sauce. It's a lab who is ready. Normally in the village, we only use gari and agu to prepare, but now it is modernized. You can see our protein by the side. Chicken protein chicken uh, for the protein and from the presentation you can see the way we slice the onions to garnish it so it's not our usual way of preparing the balabu food in Igala land again mm -hmm. enjoy your meal thank you so much mm -hmm. it looks really really pretty yes, yes, I, I don't want to scatter the arrangement okay mm -hmm. so should i just pass no don't pass i it's should just, dig in just dig in mm -hmm. I don't want to scatter this arrangement. <laughs> Should I? Please. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Let me taste and give you feedback. Mm. It tastes like beans. Yeah, pigeon peas also. It's a leg you Yeah, it's leg. How soft this is. Of course, yeah, a I'm ring sorry. of onion. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And then the chicken. Touch the sauce. I'm highly impressed, honestly. I'm highly impressed. You see, a lot of people think that our local and traditional cuisines cannot taste really nice, you know, and cannot be like presented to other parts of the world. But I can tell you categorically that with what I see here and what I've tasted, I can tell you that Igbala Agugu can compete with any Mediterranean cuisine and possibly, you know, be selected or said to be better off than, you know, the likes of couscous, yes. which you have succeeded, you know, in uh, bringing to light using our own cassava grits, Gary. You know, mixed with this um, uh, uh, pigeon pea. I'm highly impressed. This is nice. You all ought to try it. We are Africans. And of course, this one is Nigerian. Coming from Kogi State of Nigeria. In fact, the Igala speaking parts of Nigeria. It is really, really fantastic. People residing on the eastern side of Kogi State express themselves in a colorful, unique culture which has ancient roots. They also have a variety of dishes that have great taste when prepared well. It's been Bon Appetit, a culinary adventure. Be our guest same time next week. Bye now. <laughs>